whose journeys of lithium can you dig it? Anyway, uh, one week until Labor Day. So going into the last week of August, and uh, weird things have happened, man. Weird things have happened. Weird st things are still happening. Uh, about a week ago, I found out my father's dying, and he's in uh, palliative care at the local hospital here. So, anyway, uh, before that I was crying a lot, depressed a lot, and as soon as I heard the news, I wept bitterly, and I haven't cried since. So, which is strange, because uh, I was crying for everything else but that, and now I'm not crying for the very thing I should be crying for. Anyway, nevertheless, what I think is happening is I must have elevated out of the depression into a hypomanic state or denials happening I don't know but I feel good I feel good I'm, I'm sh should I feel guilty for feeling good you know uh, I know one thing everything's gonna change from now on I mean with my father gone that's gonna be different everything's gonna be different jeez anyway but I still got to continue working on me. I'm going to a NA meeting tonight. My drug is my mania. That's my drug of choice. And I've been a junkie on it for 14 years. And it's really strange in trying to live without the dr drug of mania flowing through my veins and in my brain all this time. Right now, I feel a bit energy. I feel good. I know it's the manic juices. I know it is. But it's not extreme, it's not crazy or anything, but it's just compared to what I was feeling down there, where I was feeling down there in my tears and in my sorrow, this is welcome to relief. Welcome to relief. I, enough tears, I mean, I ha I've had enough tears. There was some negative stuff that I uh, had taped that I, I, I took off because, you know, you guys are really just seeing the good parts of the bipolar thing. The bad parts is too much for YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I can't put that stuff on because that's the crazy stuff. The real crazy stuff you can't put on. I've done some risque stuff with my schizophrenic friend Teddy and stuff like that. Anyway, that's some of my mo most uh, accessed stuff. If you want to go back in history there, I, I think I had, this will be my 112th or 113th uh, tape surprised I had this much on here anyway what a beautiful summer though it's cloudy right now and everything and it seems like it might rain a little bit or something but what a beautiful summer I've had though really what a what a marvelous summer uh, there's a I started off the summer with a great girlfriend and I've, I've ended it with a, one of my best friends she's one of my best friends now I understand her if I really think, I can understand her because she's just like me. Anyway, nevertheless, I got two guitars, a Yamaha from my daughter, and an Ibanez over here uh, from a cabby guy, a friend of mine, uh, that I got on a good deal. So I'm excited. I'm excited that I want... I'm s another thing I'm excited about is I'm hearing music in my head again. Driving around on the bike, a song will pop in my head and will play in my head. This is good, man. This is good. Uh, the creative juices, it's almost like uh, my body is adapted to the, uh, to the uh, lithium. And now it's like steady as she goes, you know. I, mean. I don't think I'm too manic. I don't think I'm too manic. Maybe I am. I don't know. I have to send this one to my doctor just to see. If I am or not, and it'll give her a reference anyway. I feel a bit guilty for feeling good right now, though, because of what's going on with my father and everything. But what can I do, man? I gotta go with the flow. We was supposed to probably be crying, right? I don't know. So this is the key man on his journeys of lithium, getting some recovery for being a serotonin junkie. Can you dig it? Peace out. Keep it real.